Hey guys, welcome back to Southern Talk. So, continue on with the part two of the real internet. I guess let's start off with what service I'm using. I am using T-Mobile. That is what I'm using at this moment. And the reason why I'm using it at this moment is because there was a lot of extra fees that went involved with Nomad Unlimited Bill or however many other unlimited internet stuff they had and I didn't want to get into that I wanted to make sure that the service worked before I started putting more money into it so having said that how I came up with T-Mobile was through my searches trying to find something for rural internet and all that stuff Nomad kept popping up and in Nomad you can actually you know you, you put your address in and and all that and then they recommend the plan for you well the location I was in they recommended the strong pink plan which is T-Mobile they also have a, a blue plan and uh, I think it was a red plan red plan being Verizon the blue plan being AT&T so they recommended T-Mobile in the area I was in so that's how I ended up doing my searches for T-Mobile and all that T-Mobile setup was if you had service with them you just bought basically an extra line you use a sim card in the router and so you ended up having another line added to your account so that's what we did there was no strings attached to that as far as there was uh, no contract, no service fee, or anything else. They just added another line, and then you paid for the data plan you wanted. Now, I'm paying for the 100 gig data plan, which is $60 a month. So, anyway, that addresses that. It's T-Mobile. So, I found it through Nomad, like I said, doing that. Uh, Nomad, they required, a, I think it was 129 or 149 a month plus your 199 membership fee for your unlimited data. Now, I've heard stuff about, you know, bad stuff, good stuff, and I'm not here to tell you about Nomad or anything else because I haven't tried it, so I, I have no experience with it whatsoever. You can do your research, you can look on the internet and, and go through the same stuff I did with that. So anyway, that's how we came up with T-Mobile. Now, the two ways that I determined where my cell tower was for T-Mobile was there's two different websites. One is a SCADA score and one is a cell mapper. I will link both of those below. And I, I'm not real sure off the top of my head. I think SCADA score, you can actually double click on your address and then choose a close tower to you. It gives you a function to where you can see if you have something impeding the line of sight between the tower and your house. And that's that's from the tower to your house. Now, Cell Mapper, on the other hand, you can actually go into Cell Mapper and you can choose the provider that you want to choose. So, in this case, I would choose T Mobile and then it will show you the towers in your area that T Mobile have. And uh, it gives you the bands and all that stuff that they use on those towers. So, those two links for those two applications or websites will be in the description below so you can address that if you know if you want to look at it in your area or wherever you are you'll have a way to do that this will also help you when you're aiming the antenna uh, so you'll have an idea on the different directions you can aim the antenna because when you're checking for signals you're going to want to check every antenna and uh, so we're going to go now and we're going to start doing um, speed tests inside the house with the antennas that are on the router and then we'll do another speed test with the antennas that are hooked up outside the Yagi antennas, the directional antennas that are hooked up outside. So you can get an idea on the two different speeds. As I showed you in the previous video, when I saw on the front porch, now this, those were done with my cell phone. This was before we had the antennas hooked up. And on the front porch, as you can tell, the, there's, there's 15 amp upload. I don't remember what, the, I mean download, and I don't remember what the upload is. And then uh, I'll flash them up here so you can remember it. And then on the inside, there was, uh, I mean, we, I'm talking about just 10 to 15 feet in the house. It was a lot less. So it was actually hardly anything at all. And now when we put this router in the house with and without the antennas, I'm going to give you those two speeds as well. And we'll go there and do that now. Okay, so the speed test I'm fixing to show you is the uh, test I've taken since we've got the uh, Wi-Fi on now. Uh, 10 to 15 feet in the house and you can tell there's a substantial difference between that and the uh, the original one I had taken inside the house 
So after that, I'm going to go ahead and do this first test on the computer. It's going to be a speed test off of the router that is tied into the directional antennas, the Yagi antennas, the ones up on the roof. We'll show you how it goes. Okay, so here's the first speed test for the router with the exterior antennas connected. And there you go. All right, so I'm gonna walk in there and I'm going to take the exterior antenna off and I'm going to put the, the, the little paddle antennas that came with the router, I'm gonna put those on and I'll be right back. Okay, now this is the one with the paddle antennas or the paddles that come, or the antennas that come with the router. And as you can see here, it's not much of a working signal. All right, now I'm gonna go swap my antenna back and I'll be right back. Okay, now that you see the difference in the speeds and that you maybe understand why we chose to go this route. So moving on from there, I'm going to give you a shot of the router, kind of show you the basic setup, show you how you can lock bands and all that because uh, it's, for me and from what I've seen and what I've done here, it's pretty important to, to lock a band, uh, the one that you get the best signal on because typically this router, if you have all the bands unlocked, it's just gonna reach out there and grab a band and you gotta hope it's hitting the, the one that you get the best signal on. So once you figure out which band is working the best for you or which signal that you're getting it from then you want to lock the router into that signal so i'm going to show you how to do that okay now for the router setup uh first thing i want to note is in the paperwork you get with the mopi router uh, one thing it does recommend is when you're going to set up your mopi router the only browser that they you should use is internet explorer firefox or safari those are the ones that are recommended for setup. Anyway, let's do that and you finish going through the setup here so you can set your Wi-Fi up and everything for the house. If you want to change your network name or whatever, you can do that too. Okay, so I have started up Internet Explorer and then you're going to go to the address bar. You will type 192 point, and it's already there, 168.10.1. Hit enter. And this is going to come up this way and it tells you all this on the sheet here so that comes with the router uh, root username this is all stuff that that has come from the factory this way password is admin a d m i n enter and you're going to come in here to this screen right here when you get to this screen you will click on mofi internal modem this screen right here will pop up you're going to go back up here you're going to click on band scanner and it's going to ask you to select internet provider or you can scan all bands because I know we have T-Mobile. We're going to scan T-Mobile right there. And then we're going to start scan. And this is going to go through here and collect signal from all the towers that it's directed at and give you the signal strength for each one of them. As you can see there, it says it's resetting to band two. I have individually gone through each one of these and locked it on each band, recorded a signal on it, and it came back to being band two or B2. That was the best one for me. 
Uh, now you don't have to do this, you can leave it unlocked and run, but uh, when you do that, it takes a chance of grabbing one of the other bands that are not as fast or not as good. So I like to go through here, check each individual one, and then pick the one that has the best signal and then lock it to that one, which is what I did here. I'll give you one for example. I'm on, I'll go up here and I'll lock it to band 12, just picking one randomly here so you can see it and we'll do our speed test on it and you can see what it is and then compare it to uh, B2 which you've already seen so uh, to lock the band you're going to go over here to band lock and you're going to go to where it says lock modem to a band and we're going to go to band 12 and then next and finish this takes a minute reboots the router and then it'll start back up so I'll speed you up through this and stop you when we get done Okay, so when it, when it comes back, it's done rebooting and all that, you have to log back in. So I'm going to drop this down. I'm going to pull up Google Chrome so it'll be on the same browser that we were before. And then we'll run a speed test through the Google speed test. And this is on band 12, remember? And when this finishes here and you see what the speeds are, I'm going to go back and put it to band 2. And then we'll just do one test that way you can see how it is. Oh, and just for note, it is actually raining outside right now. So we got a little storm coming through. Okay, so you see it there, 5.97 megabits download, 7, well, right at 8 upload, the 37 ping. All right. So we're going to go back and lock to band two, and then we will uh, come back here in just a second, because uh, I'm not going to sit here and make you sit through it. So I'll bring you right back here in just one moment. Okay, I'm going to show you where we're at, so you can see that we're locked into band two. And as you can see, band B2, and locked modem to a band B2. So that's where we're at. Uh, we'll jump over here to uh, Chrome, and this is the speed test. So it's a little reminder of where we were at band 12. And this will be band two. So back on Google Chrome again. And here goes the test. Okay, it's like we're gonna be close to 45. Before 45. 45.8 download. Okay, in summary, I'm using T-Mobile service. I found that using Nomad, the website, to let me know what ISP they recommended, internet service provider. I used SCADA score and Cell Mapper to locate my cell towers and also to know what bands they were running. And I used the Mophie router, locked the band on it that gave me the best signal. That's pretty much it. Just make sure that when you're aiming your antennas, you know, you have however many antennas you have around you, try it on each particular antenna, check them, check your speeds, see which one works the best, go with that one, lock that router to that band and run with it and go. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. All the, the uh, materials I use, the antennas, the router, the tools as far as the cell mapper and uh, SCADA score, all that stuff will be listed in the des description below. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I will try to answer them. And uh, if not, we'll see you soon. Appreciate y'all watching. God bless, and uh, we gone.